Comparing with the design, they both equipped with 5 inch OGS Full HD screen with 441 ppi, 1920x8 pixel resolution, high color saturation, sharp screen in Digi 900, and also Yumi Zero Kairi Samsung Super Amount screen. Meanwhile, they both equipped with two third generation Corning Glass, one protecting the screen and one protecting the back of the phone. We can just compare with the Xiaomi Mi 4. Yumi Zero's phone body used aircraft grade aluminum with rich material. Very simple sense, Digi 900 has 6.9mm entry thin phone body, but Yumi Zero equipped with 6.4mm more thinner than Digi 900. Design of the key and the slots, volume key and the pro key on the left side of the phone body. Right side is the SIM card slots. Also, put in the SIM card and SD card at the same time. Digi 900 micro USB slot under the phone body. About the USB slots and the headphone jack, they are in opposite direction. Digi 900's battery is 2500 mAh and Yumi Zero's battery is 2780 mAh. Cut removable the battery. They have a highlights about these two baby, both support quick charge. This feature I will test it later. As well, they both carry Android 4.4, 2GB in RAM and 16GB in ROM. In the aspect of the processor, Digi 900 Pro by NTK6592 1.7GHz processor, Yumi Zero Pro by NTK6592T 2.0GHz processor. Both support multi-language and air gesture. Of course, they have different features. Digi 900 supports waking gesture, and Yumi Zero supports smart stay, intelligent detection phase two ports operate the video. I don't know who is better right here. Just through these two tests proved that who will better. As we mentioned, let they both equipped with 5-inch Full HD screen, each from Sharp and Samsung. Now we testing the display. We also join in before. Through the red, green and the blue color, compared with the color reduction degree and the color saturation. As well, through some photos, which one close to reality? Mm, just now, I'm not gonna speak my view. Mm, you can judge for yourself. Okay. Now we testing the viewing angel and the sunshine. Who will more clear? Testing the loading speed and the game's performance. We just need some heavy 3D games loading the modern combat fab blackouts. Properly, they both without frame drop phenomenon just had the same loading speed. <laughs> DG900 carrying 80 megapixels Sony MX135 sensor back camera and F2.0 aperture with 8 megapixels front camera. Yumi Zero carrying 30 megapixels Sony MX214 sensor back camera and F1.8 wide aperture, as well equipped with dual flash light. And with 8 megapixels front camera too. Now, through sample images taken by back camera, these photos were taken by outdoors, make it larger compared with the details. Relatively speaking, Yumi Zero is more clear. Color reproduction is more close to the reality. Saturation and color reduction degree. Who is here? About the front camera, we also compare with the sample images. So here I don't want to discuss my point of view. I think you will find the answer. Last, we threw into the benchmark and the mark testing the performance benchmark just as a reference. Through this review, maybe you have a certain understanding about Digi 900 and Yumi Zero. 
who is the winner? I think there is different answers in everyone's heart. Do you agree with me?